About a month ago, I made a full shoe collection video with all my docks and other shoes that I have. But ever since making that, I actually have gotten a few more pairs of docks. Normally, I would say that's kind of bad, like buying three more pairs of docks within like a month is kind of a lot. However, I did actually go to LA and I got the chance to go to an in-person Doc Martin store for the first time. So I just couldn't help myself and had to get some there. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of my recent Doc Martens purchases as well as how I style them. So the first pair I've gotten is the new National Gallery Doc Martens collaboration. I got the Monet Water Lily Painting Oxfords. I'm really, really in love with these and I'm glad I finally got a pair of green docks because I've been wanting a pair of green ones for so long but I haven't been able to find one that I actually like. So I'm really glad that I got these because I think these are so beautiful. I love how the leather is textured like a canvas. I think that's a really nice detail. I know a lot of people have trouble styling patterned shoes like this. My general rule when styling pattern docks is to pull at least one color from the actual pattern and then incorporate that into your outfit as well as a few other colors that match that one. I recently thrifted both this pink top and this black skirt and I think they look so good together. I chose this pink top because the pink matches the pink in the shoes. All the components of the outfit have like a little floral detail because the shoes have the lilies the skirt has floral lace at the bottom and then the top has translucent pink flower details on it. So I think that's also another really nice detail that kind of ties them all in together. Since the neckline on the top goes down pretty far, I added this necklace that's pretty wide so it kind of like covers your chest more. And then the pearls match the texture of the silk. I would probably wear this outfit like antique shopping or something because a lot of the components of the outfit remind me of antique clothing. This is my next outfit styling these docks. I think this top is perfect because it has both the green and blue that's in the docks as well as white which kind of matches those colors really well. That's also why I chose the white t-shirt and light blue jeans. You can still tell that effort went into it because there's a lot of color coordination. It's still really casual and I'd probably wear this to school because it is so comfy. This is the last outfit with this pair. I really listened to my own advice here and I styled three of the colors from the pattern in this. The yellow from the shoes is in the top, as well as the blue sweater vest, and then the pink skirt. I honestly wasn't too sure about this outfit at first, but once I tried it on, I really loved it and I think this is such a cute outfit. There's a lot of nice pastel tones and they match well with each other. I think the key when wearing different colors is to choose ones with the same lightness. So for example, light blue goes well with these pastel colors, but meanwhile dark blue would probably look a little off. I really love this outfit and I think it's kind of perfect for a pottery painting place. I know that's kind of oddly specific, but I went to a, a place like that recently with a similar outfit. It was honestly perfect because the sweater vest is definitely like the art ho aesthetic and I'm wearing shoes that are a literal famous piece of artwork. So I think this outfit works great in case you were planning on painting some pottery anytime soon. My next pair is these Zebra Bex Oxfords. These are my first docks purchase in LA and I'm so glad I found them at Posers because I have always regretted not buying them when they originally came out. I really love the raised zebra stripe detail on these and it's so cool how part of the leather is matte and the other part is patent. And I'm a sucker for a platform shoe, especially Oxfords. Here's the first way I styled these shoes. I love a good contrast with thin outfits and this one is a great example of that. The top is light colored, it's silky, lacy, and flowy. And then meanwhile, the pants are dark and a thick material and structured. In my opinion, these pieces really complement each other and look so nice. Since the pants are pretty long, I did think they needed to go with Oxfords. And these ones are perfect because the black textured leather adds another contrasting piece to this outfit. Next, I sell the Zebra Docs with another LA Docs purchase of mine, this black heart bag. This bag is absolutely perfect. It has enough space and it even turns into a backpack with the straps. There's a little ID holder on the back that's actually the perfect size for my business cards. It also has this patent leather section which matches my Zebra Docs perfectly. I style them with this lavender slip dress because I liked having a delicate silk dress paired with a bunch of black leather. Since this dress is pretty short, I would usually style it with boots, but I really wanted to wear my Oxford, so instead I put on some taller socks. This outfit is really pretty, but it is a little bit fancy, 
so I'd probably only wear it if I was going somewhere nice, but you could dress it down with a pair of sneakers or maybe by layering a shirt underneath. My last outfit with these docks is with this queen band tee and wide leg corduroys. I really love these pieces together and the outfit is extremely comfortable too. I felt like I had to pair these zebra docks with these pants because the color is super fun and so is the print on the shoes. Plus they match the black shirt. I would probably be more likely to wear this outfit during fall because of the color of the pants and how warm they are. So my final new pair of docks is these suede Adrian loafers in plum. I've been debating getting these ever since they came out and now I'm so glad I did. They are literally like a sock. There was absolutely no break-in process for them at all and they were super comfortable right out of the box. I love the color of them and at first I was a little unsure how to style them, but by making this video I realized it isn't really that difficult at all. In my first outfit, I styled them with some light grayish white pants and a bubble sleeve top. Going for colors like this made them super easy to style because pretty much every color goes with these. But sometimes black and white can be a statement combination so I think having another dark color balances out the outfit a bit more. This one is so cute and works well as both a casual and a more dressed up outfit. I really love this next outfit a lot. I've been obsessed with this top lately because it's soft and comfy and not see-through which is hard to get for a white top. I like pairing brown and white together, so I also grabbed these flowy brown trousers that go well with the tight fitting top. I wasn't sure if these loafers would match very well, but now that I'm wearing them, I think they do. This feud has a cute business attire vibe going on, so I also added my black heart bag since it's similar to a briefcase in my opinion. My last outfit is a bit similar but more casual. The top is dressy, but the black jeans dress down the look and make it more wearable. I chose this top because I think the color matches the purple well and also ties in the golden buckle on the loafers. This top is silky and flowy, so I contrasted it with a pair of dark structured jeans. I love this look and have actually worn this exact one thrifting already. So that's all the Docs purchases that I have to show you today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Doc Martens or secondhand fashion content, don't forget to subscribe because I post videos like this frequently. I'll see you next time.